So now let's look at setting up a Bluetooth GPS device to work with your tracker and Windows Mobile handheld. So first thing is uh, we need to set up a Bluetooth connection to it. So we'll go in here, we'll turn on the Bluetooth. And then we want to make sure we've got our device turned on. And we will go into Show Bluetooth Explorer. And we will want to uh, create a new one. So, a new connection. And so we can tell to explore. If you don't see it, you can hold there, hit discover devices. It was on the list already because I'd set it up earlier, but by discovering devices, you should go out and search, and it should see one. Uh, in this case, I am specifically using the Holix M1000, but this should also work for uh, most GPS Bluetooth devices. Uh, and of course, most all of the Hullix Bluetooth GPS devices. Highlight it. Click Next. Highlight SPP Slave. And it's important here, you're going to have to choose what port you want to run it on. So you want to run the serial port and you want to choose whatever port that you're not already using for a printer or something. Um, so you want to conflict uh, in whichever one you have available. Make a note of which one it is. I'm going to use 9. And click OK. And now it's there, it's active, it's highlighted, it's turned on. Alright, so now you should pretty much be uh, all set with getting the Bluetooth connection to work. Now, we need to actually set up the Windows settings to tell how you use the GPS. So, start settings, system, and in here uh, should be one called GPS. And in here, we do not want to touch programs, we want to go to hardware. We want to set the hardware to whatever COM port we selected, COM9. And then set the baud rate to whatever your device is capable of. Most of the Holix uh, are capable of 33.6. So you want that to be set. Programs is left to none. And then access, you want this to be managed to GPS automatically as it's recommended. So make sure that's checked. Click OK. Close out of here. And now we simply test it. By starting up Tracker, there's actually a testing piece right in here for this. And that testing is under Help, GPS Test. Now, we also probably want to make sure before we run that, I'll show you what it looks like with it turned on, turned off. If we go to Options, My Settings. You want to make sure your GPS tracking is on. I'm going to show you what it looks like if it's turned off. It just shows up as a blank box. Nothing, nothing there. It's set to not do your tracking. So we come in here, Options, My Settings, make sure the GPS tracking is set on. And now, GPS test, you see that it's setting that COM connection to the COM9. Just like uh, when you, if you use a Bluetooth printer and using those COM ports, initializing it and came back to the GPS location. Now, I also want to show you uh, that it will turn the Bluetooth on. If the Bluetooth is turned off, we go into the wireless manager and the Bluetooth is turned off. This uh, is pretty much the same for the way that the printer works as well, that when you go to print through the app uh, through the tracker application, 
because it's using those COM ports, it will turn the Bluetooth on. So now that's been turned off. We say GPS test though. Take a couple extra seconds because it's actually going to have to turn the Bluetooth on. And now it's come back to the GPS location. You can see here the source of GPS, long, latitude, longitude, and this information then gets sent over the tracker. Anytime, most times when it's pulling this information, it will have to do that uh, quick calm display. So when you have this set, uh, it will show that. It will do that when you synchronize. It pulls the GPS information when you sign an invoice. And it does a GPS location at the end of day process. As well as it will try and do it on the startup as well. So those are the, locate, those are the times that it will do the GPS locating through tracker requesting or in GPS, in which case you may see that little com bar come up. And sometimes you'll see it and sometimes you won't. It really just depends on if it's already fully activated or if it uh, stops.